Hi. Hi. <laughs> Why are we laughing? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to uh, Bird Events YouTube. What are we doing today? We have some fun stuff planned. So as you know, um, it is election season this year. Yes, it happens yes, yes. every four years. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we're at a rare time in life. So we're going to do some fun trivia with our presidents. Because, you know, we've had a variety of presidents and they've been up to some strange things. Oh, don't I know. Those old white men do all sorts of stuff. So, and they have died in interesting ways. They've committed some fun crimes. Um, well, not fun. The fun crimes? Are they fun? Not really. Pretty serious. Pretty serious and definitely impacted the, uh, in the United States as a whole. But, uh... Because, you know, it is a little bit like a whole. It is a little bit like a hole, you know. But you usually hole. like holes. I do like holes. I do. do. I do. But not this kind of hole. Not this kind of hole. This is a wet, stinky, dirty hole that mm, nobody wants that. Hasn't been wiped in a while. Mm. Ready? I am. Okay, so I'm gonna um, say which president, blah blah blah, give you a multiple choice, and then you can guess, or if you already know. Are um, you familiar with? Are you up to date on your presidents and all their scandals they've been up to? We've had a lot of presidents. How many? We're at a... We're oh, at 45. 45. 45. Jesus Christ. Yep. It's a lot. Yep. Are you, are, do, you, do, you, do you feel comfortable with this challenge? Let's do it, because the one thing I do love talking about is how these motherfuckers fucked up. <laughs> Boy, did they. So, which United States president Die on the toilet of diarrhea. A. President Washington. B. President Jackson. C. President Taylor. Or D. President Obama. Obama would not do that. No. And I think he's still alive. Yes. Yeah. That was it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all the people. I mean, for some reason, don't think he is. But um, I'm going to go with is, is, is Jackson. He is an option. So is that your uh, final answer? Yes. You are wrong. Oh. oh. I'm sorry. I don't know anything about uh, presidents who died from diarrhea because that's a little. Whatever that is. <laughs> All I know if I'm going out, it's on the porcelain throne, baby. I okay. can see me dying on the toilet. No, that's not a way to go but that's out. Kinda, that's how I want to go. You want to be covered in diarrhea? I do. Oh, I guess that's glamorous. If you look like that, you can die <laughs> in a puddle of diarrhea. I'm lactose intolerant, so like a cheesy gordita crunch will take me right out. <laughs> Don't All get right. any ideas, Boulay brothers. <laughs> Call me up. Yeah, so the option, the winning answer is President Taylor. Taylor! Who died on the evening of July 9th after four days of suffering from symptoms that included severe cramping, diarrhea, nausea, and dehydration. His personal physicians concluded that he has succumbed to chloria morbus, a bacterial infection of the small intestine. I think if you just had a little bit of Pepto-Bismol, you would have been fine. Exactly. Or like, you know, do what, you know, any other person would do. Drink ginger ale. Drink ginger ale. Was <laughs> <laughs> it was things my mom growing up? I'd be like, Mom, I broke my arm. She'd be like, have some ginger, ginger ale. ale. <laughs> You're sick? Drink some ginger ale. <laughs> yeah. You stubbed your toe? Drink some ginger ale. Um, you would have been fine. Um, you got pounded and your buffalo hurts, drink some ginger ale. You can even put a little back there too. Okay, well it is. <laughs> so which president married his own daughter, technically? Oh. I know. Mm. Was it A, President Cleveland, B, President Nixon, C, President Clinton, or D, President Trump? This one's a tricky one. Because one's true, and one seems like it very well could be true. 
What are the options? <laughs> 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 I'm just thrown off. Oh, oh. This is a tricky one. A, President Cleveland. B, President Nixon. C, President Clinton. Or D, our current president, Donald Trump. Um, I'm going to go with President Cleveland because I did not hear about these other presidents marrying their daughter. Because I think I would have heard about that, right? You think so. And you know what, Icon? You're right! Okay! Ah, yes. <laughs> yes! Yes! And to be really honest, I don't know her. <laughs> Well, see, I threw Trump on there because that seems very well like that could be the case. That could because they all look alike. They do all look alike. The they do. They yeah. do look a little. I love that movie. You know. That's like, Father, if we get rid of abortions, what will we eat? Botox. <laughs> Botox. <laughs> because that's what they look like. They only eat is Botox. That is true. That is true. Yes. So in Baltimore, Maryland, U.S., Francis. Frances Clara Cleveland Preston was First Lady of the United States from 1886 to 1889, and again from 1893 to 1897 as the wife of President Glover Cleveland, becoming the First Lady at age 21. Ooh, there's a lot to unpack here. She remains the youngest wife of a sitting president. So this man married his 21-year-old daughter. What is wrong with you? <laughs> Shane. These presidents, they're supposed to be spending their time fixing the country, yet they're doing all this nasty shit. Yeah, they're just being nasty. They died from diarrhea, mm -hmm. um, incest, you know, the good old American dream. The American dream, diarrhea and incest. Mm hmm. Mm. <laughs> Oh, I can't wait to read the comments on this video. <laughs> I know. <laughs> That's great. Christ, Stella Cross. <laughs> All right. On to our next one. Which president had an illicit affair with the White House intern? Mm. Was it A, President Lincoln? B, President Nixon? It's after B. C, President Clinton, or D, President Bush? Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to go with <clears throat> Clinton. Oh, and you already know you're right. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> we all know the Queen Monica mm -hmm. Lewinsky. Legendary. Le Legendary, <laughs> From House of Lewinsky. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, yes. It's like the first cock destroyer. <laughs> she really was mm -hmm. the first cock destroyer. Right. She fucking drained those fucking bowls, bowls. those presidential bowls. Yeah. She's like, you know, right here, right here, underneath the desk. <laughs> underneath the desk. Right here. Oh, this office is yes. so oval, just like your Ooh. right testicle. Yeah. <laughs> 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 We all know about oh. the, the cum stain dress. Oh, yes. That's my, that's just my question. Uh, so I would have saved it and framed it, honey. I would have. Mm -hmm. in my hands. It's like, remember this? <laughs> that's Scratch Clinton's right here. nut. <laughs> <laughs> you see this, Hillary? Check that shit out. <laughs> you see this before. Oh. Well, I think thing though is like so they she's on her knees suck giving that dick the old one two suck a room mm -hmm. in the in the Oval Office and he busts right on her dress and mm -hmm. then says okay go what you expect and we all know what nut looks like it is a very <sighs> distinctive liquid I remember like hearing about this story all over the news and honestly not knowing what the fuck they were talking about but <laughs> because I was like. Well, a child, but it had to be something. You knew, you already knew your young brother. There's something up. There's something Something's suspicious going on. Suspicious here. Something's happening. And Monica's kind of a queen now. She is. She's legendary. And she's living her best life. Okay. Actually, I wonder if she was a paid intern. Probably not. She is now. Ah. All right. So you are two, two, uh, two and one. You're doing good. You're doing okay. good. All right, we have one final one, and this one, this one was a doozy. 
So, which president had his associates break into the Democratic headquarters right before election season in order to be re-elected? Yes, yes. We have option A, President Ford, B, President Clinton, C, President Nixon, or D, President Obama. I actually don't know this one. I want to go with... Ford? Oh, you are wrong. It's President Nixon and the infamous Watergate scandal. Oh, duh. Those gates were open and there was water flowing. Yes, so, in 1972, um, President Nixon had his... Oh my gosh, I can't read. In 1972, <laughs> President Nixon has his associates break into the Democratic National Committee headquarters at Washington, D.C. Watergate office building. After the five perpetrators were arrested, the press and U.S. Justice Department connected the cash found on them at the time to the Nixon re-election campaign committee. The scandal. The drama of it all. The drama. That's some shady shit. Really? And the thing is, I don't really understand that very much, what that all means, but I know there is some buffoonery. <laughs> I don't <laughs> <No>. understand. <laughs> I don't understand, bitch. I swear, I read the Watergate thing about four times. I'm like, yeah! You know, it's one of those things where you know that Nixon, um, they got rid of Nixon, but I honestly, <laughs> I know I don't really care. <laughs> I know my history, but I just didn't care about that. He's kind of a piece of shit. He wasn't the nicest. Yeah. Man. No. See ya. You're like you said. Doesn't matter what you did. Mm -hmm. as as see ya. Don't want to be ya. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, I kind of give you one more chance. All right. Because let's you've been see. A good sport. All right. And then I can tell you what you won, what your special prize is. Oh, oh I get a prize? So you have two wrong and two right. So All right. this was the tiebreaker. Let's break that tie. Which president took $70,000 in tax deductions for hair care? Okay, options. Yeah, I'll just do a dramatic pause. <laughs> Was it A, President Bush, B, President George Washington, C, President Ford, or D, President D. Trump? This is my answer. Am I correct? You're right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. You are correct. Oh. Yes, it was President Donald Trump who spent $70,000. Oh, okay. Well, he got $70,000 in tax okay. deducted for hair care, and his hair still looks like that. Mm. Mm. Like, mm. bitch, do you want to borrow my wig? <laughs> no comment. No comment. No, a disgrace. Mm -hmm. And th this is my question about his whole hair situation. I don't know. I don't know if it is like a toupee, if it is extensions, what kind of unit it is. But you see pictures, and there's like tape on the it's side. Brilliant. It's Brazilian honey. Is it Brazilian? <laughs> it's Brazilian honey. Also, shout out to shout out to him for using that good old trophy wife Fenty. You know, during the debates. I see you. I see yeah, you. Yeah. A little cream contour. Just you know, a little bit. Have cream, a little shimmer. Cream orange contour, you know. Mm -hmm. I like a little bit of peachy orange too, so. You go, girl. <laughs> you got that tang. Remember okay. tang? That tang, honey. That tang. You You're using them good 90s uh, makeup, mm -hmm. drag makeup tricks. I see you. <laughs> yeah, he learned it all from the queen. Okay. <laughs> 
I would say if he had, if there was any sort of uh, like any sort of queer person working in that office, he would not look like that. You know that hair would be correct. Right. And that's why it doesn't pay to be a homophobe because right. we could hook you up. We could. But since you're not, mm -hmm. you on your own. Your waist would be, your, oh my god, your lace would be laid. Okay, just imagine. It would be a full like 70 inch Brazilian okay. ombre down to your ass. Mm -hmm. You'd be up in that debate like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but no, you look like a ham with a little bit of what's stuck in my mm -hmm. shower drain in it on your head. So, I mean, that's look at Kamala's bump and curl. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> There's a gay working in that side of politics. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but Icon, so with that correct answer, you have won. Yay! Yes! I win. Um, you have won. This Press on nail from the Halloween store. Oh my gosh, thank uh -huh. you so much. Uh -huh. Yeah. It's beautiful. I know. Oh, I'm a cherish this. You can frame it, you put it under your pillow and oh. say my name three times in the mirror, I'll appear at night. Oh. That sounds disturbing, but yeah. it's not as fun at the same time. And for anyone at home, you remember that too. <laughs> Well, so that is the end of our whole <laughs> I'm going to ignore that. That was a $2 box of nails. Uh, <laughs> that's the end of our political segment here at Bird Events. Yes, I had a lot of fun learning about um, the fucked up trials and tribulations of our country once again. And you know, what I say is live, laugh, and most importantly, learn. learn. So hopefully we will learn from this and go forward um, and this will be airing right around the time that we may have a new president. All right. So I will just say, no matter what happens, y'all stay strong out there, stay vigilant, that's right. and stick together as a community. Hang in there. Mm -hmm. You know, we can get through this together. Okay. I know. I uh, I'm about a, at a pack a day of cigarettes at this point. Uh, do with that information as you will. Stressful mm -hmm. time. It makes good for a nice deep breath in voice. Very yeah, much. Yeah, it does. Yeah, I still sound like Squidward for some reason, but... You know. <laughs> Squidward is a queen. Squidward is a queen, so. Squidward is a queen. yeah. Squidward's a doll. <laughs> so, but make sure you follow us at Bird Events on social media. So on Instagram, you can find us at Bird Events. That's B-U-R-D, then the word events. You're here at YouTube at Bird Events. And follow us on Facebook at Bird Events to get all the latest info, all our events coming up. And you can also check out all of our shows and more at birdevents.com. That is B-U-R-D-E-V-E-N-T-S dot com. Yes. And come see us in person. We're doing some live shows. They're Absolutely. All quarantine safe and COVID safe, of course. Mm -hmm. We got our masks on. We got our hand sanitized. Okay. Yes. So all intact. Absolutely. So come see us and yeah. We'll see you at the next one. Mm -hmm.